beach living, right? Who doesn't love that? Now, I've got three tips for you, though. If you are thinking of living at the beach, there are some things that you really need to factor in. One of those is there's a very good chance that you're in a flood zone. So when you're out shopping for insurance, make sure you're understanding that that is an extra cost that you're going to have to look in when you're li living near the water. Flood insurance can get pretty expensive, especially here in Florida. The second thing you want to account for is just maintenance. When you're near the water, especially the salt water, there's a lot more rust and corrosion. So the daily upkeep, you really want to factor it in, especially if you're buying a house that's at the upper end of your budget. You need to make sure that you're accounting for things are probably going to run a little bit more expensive expensive from a daily maintenance and care standpoint. The third part is, just as you can see behind me, a lot of people living that beach life are living it in a condo. So you want to make sure you're accounting for the fact that a condo itself has to be approved if you're getting a loan and not just you. They're going to look at the condo's financials. They're going to look to see if there's been any special assessments lately. All that really is to protect you to make sure that the condo is financially secure and stable so that you don't hit with, get hit with any large assessments that put you in a tough spot. So I know that was some things that aren't terribly exciting about living in the beach, but if you're like me, the lifestyle is 100% worth it. So go out there and find that dream beach home, but make sure you're accounting for those three items when you do. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.